Well, time is changing. Everything in the online world is evolving and because of that, art is also subject of the constant change. With the creation of the internet and social networks, our ability to maintain attention for a longer period of time was significantly reduced. Movies, books and entire entertaining industry are adapting to this. Chapters in books are shorter and big Hollywood blockbusters are divided into the 15-minute segments where plot moves from one to another to keep viewers' attention. Currently, a writer will not be successful with the book in which he describes nature and environment around him for 30 pages in one chapter. This is also why it's difficult for many people nowadays to read books like Lord of the Rings, which contains long chapters in which Tolkien describes his world of Middle-earth in a pretty detailed way. Characters and events in the movies were of course heavily influenced by studios' profitability for a long time. Ordinary marketing strategy in movie industry is for example product placement, where companies pay for their products to appear in a successful movies or franchise, like for example cars driven by James Bond. Another strategy is also often used mainly in fairy tales to create the side characters whose primary purpose is to make money from merchandising. Over time, the second strategy also reached the blockbusters projects and the good example for this can be Star Wars movies and series, which were created after the Disney studio bought the rights for them. With the characters like Baby Yoda or a robot BB-8, it's hard to imagine that studio doesn't consider merchandising potential of these characters when it was creating them. These changes have been happening slowly in the recent years, but as time progress and social networks dominate our lives, art and those who's making money from it are also adapting to these conditions. If an artist can create a work that become viral on social networks, he has achieved a free marketing and consequently popularity which will boost profitability of the product. Thanks to this, content which have potential to go viral on social medias are included into the movies, music, TV series and it can earn to studios a big pile of money. Also within music, this trend can be observed in recent years when, for example, Drake released a song Tussie Slide in which clip he danced during chorus and lyrics is a description of how to make these moves. This has potential to catch on platforms like TikTok where this song can go viral and gain popularity. This unsurprisingly happened and it take a TikTok by the storm. With the songs like this, it's questionable whether it was created primarily for a music as such, or if it's a calculation and music was second only to profit. The same practices also reach the movies and series where we can see this effect, for example, with the series Wednesday, which was popular among primary young generation. Dance from it become highly viral on TikTok, and through it many young people learned about the show, which of course then want to watch. Wednesday has become one of the most successful Netflix original series, and the tactic of connecting it with TikTok trends can have its share on the success of the show. In this case, it seems to me that people around Tim Burton use this potential naturally. I think this dance will be used for the show even if there were no social medias, as long as it fits organically into the overall atmosphere of the series. To sum it up, I'm not trying to create a narrative or whatever these changes are good or bad. At the end of the day, it's all about the profit. And when these practices will help movie studios make some additional money, they will use them. Then it's up to the creators whether they will use these tools sensitively and thoughtfully, or they will be just lazy during writing a script and because of that it can be a quite a cringe experience. Achieving a viral trend on social networks is free advertising, which doesn't cost the studio a penny and reaches millions of people worldwide, while increasing the price of its product enormously. Therefore, it's natural that studios will also focus on this aspect of movies. The question is whether it will be done with precision or we will get more cringe and less quality in the music and movies at the expense of a cool TikTok dance. But this only time will tell. However, we can expect that over time these tactics will play a more important role in the entertainment industry 
and products will be modified to suit the style of social networks and their virality. Are you also aware of this aspect within the movies and series you watch? Do you think these practices will spread to other art forms in the future? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, you will probably also like my other videos on this channel, so you can check them out. And if you know somebody who will also enjoy this content, feel free to let them know. Anyway, if you watch this video to this moment, thank you for your time and I will see you in the next one.